I believe that having the amputation on my foot it would help me walk, move myself around, be able to wear shoes again. It's not easy. I'm sorry. Twenty-six-year-old Jeffrey Ortega has a condition called Proteus Syndrome, which affects only 200 people in the world. It's characterized by overgrowth of the bones, skin and tissue, and has affected Jeffrey's hands, hips, legs, and most of all his feet, which are a size 16. It was started underneath the sole of the foot, and then over the years it kept on growing. The condition affects his quality of life so much that Jeffrey feels the only solution is having his left foot amputated, but he can't afford the operation. It would help me in many ways because it's been very painful the last couple of years. Unfortunately, I don't have the sources for it, but I'm in desperate need of amputation. Jeffrey's condition became apparent when he was only a baby and progressed quickly. By the age of 11, he was unable to wear regular shoes because his feet were too big. I used to be with just socks or bare feet. I was bullied a lot. I was, you know, from being spit on, making fun of the shoes. They used to say that I used to wear my dad's shoes. Jeffrey's mother, Alithia, also faced prejudice due to her son's rare condition. Yo decidí movernos a un apartamento donde él había una piscina porque yo he pensado de que si él está en una piscina puede mejorar los movimientos de su cuerpo entonces comenzaron a decir que no que cuando Jeffrey estaba en la piscina las personas no entraban a la piscina que si queríamos seguir viviendo en ese sitio tenemos que tener una carta donde dijera que su enfermedad no es contagiosa eso duele one of the biggest challenges for Jeffrey and his mother is keeping his feet clean because of the crevices that have formed in his swollen flesh. If I didn't wash my feet during the day when I was in college, the odor was so strong that even flies started falling on my feet. Jeffrey has been wearing the same shoes for the past four years because it's nearly impossible for him to find a pair that fit him. It's sad for me to go to a store and uh, seeing my family find shoes and they find them with no problem. And for me, I have to ask at the store manager. It's not easy. It brings me down. It, it does kill me because I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never seen anyone come in before with Jeffrey's condition. That's a first for us and we've been here for 20 years. I think getting something that's going to fit him, customized, is going to be better than something that's sort of generic off the shelf, which really isn't going to be good for his foot. So far, Jeffrey has had 11 unsuccessful surgeries performed on his legs. He's now so desperate to improve his quality of life, he's considering extreme measures. The good solution we thought of uh, amputation, it would help me because I can walk again and even I can, you know, not able to use a wheelchair anymore. I can start walking. Jeffrey says that doctors have agreed to amputate, but only if he can fund the operation himself. On the GoFundMe.com, I put in the campaign. The whole procedure, it cost almost in the $30,000, almost to $40,000, because it can be from the process of doing the surgery, buying the prosthetic, and doing the follow-ups. Aquí es difícil, sobre todo una mujer sola con un hijo, pero siempre Dios ha puesto ángeles en nuestro camino, siempre. Mi mayor deseo ahora es que algún buen corazón nos pueda ayudar con la amputación y su prótesis. Eso es nuestro mayor deseo.